here we are at the tail end of the box cutter release vlog, talking about fonts once again. You know what I call that? I call that a pretty good day. It's a good day to talk about fonts. I love dealing with fonts, but that's probably because I'm a obsessive with branding, and branding, you know, the easiest way to brand something is with text. The other way is with color, but we'll just take some text, and we're just going to say box cutter. Box cutter. Sorry. I cut my finger earlier, so I'm just typing badly now, but work must go on. So in box cutter, I did put a band-aid on it. Sometimes I ignore that part, and inside of font, uh, I called it font cutter, and <laughs> that's a cool name. Uh, we'll press S to shuffle in font scroll, so we actually are grabbing something more random. And we're just looking for a text that, you know, we could go with this one. Notice that the R is not good. I was going to say a different R word that would have got me canceled. I don't know why. For this one, this one would work. Let's uh, put a space between the two keys, though. So we'll press Q and we'll adjust the spacing just a little bit, just so we're not giving ourselves a uh, bump chance here. So we'll press Alt W, start box cutter, and we'll bring up one of my favorites, classic cu uh, custom cutter. And with custom cutter, we'll press C to mark this custom shape of text as the cutter. And from here, we're able to simply just draw a box cutter, drew it in the wrong direction, and we see that the same benefits that we were talking about for hard ops with the text receiving a degenerative pass of um, bad geometry disintegration has resulted in us giving better keys than ever before. And I know you're probably listening to this thinking, you know, what's this guy talking about? What do you mean the letter T? I'm just saying the letter T, if you ever look over all of my histories, the letter T has given us some business. So anytime I see the letter T not being a T, um, I'm very happy. In fact, let's bring this down and let's try it again just with the letter T. Let's uh, put another, let's put a capital T and a lowercase T and I have caps lock on. And we're just going to change the font to something else. <laughs> we'll change it to, dang, web things is good. If you ever need to talk in hieroglyphics, am I right? So we'll just choose a random one. It doesn't matter what we choose because T's are T's, right? And we'll press C and we're just going to draw these letter T's and extrude them in. And let's jump back into wireframe and just analyze what we receive. Of course, these edges are just the random edges given to us by Blender's own calculation of us performing this random operation. If we wanted to assist that, we would just put an edge loop. And we give this one edge loop too, and it will also get some assistance. And here we are now looking at a very beautiful letter T. The letter T is just, my name doesn't even start with a T, and I care about the letter T. I mean, really, uh, let's try the letter J. You know, we're having fun in this last part of the video. Yeah, my name starts with a J. You know, people will be doxing me in the comments, so it doesn't matter. We will just press C, and let's just draw the letter J. And as I draw it the wrong direction, it makes me realize maybe I want a backwards direction, because I'm so southpaw, my goal is to at least, for a tool that I'm working with, to have it at least cater to my left-handed um, propensities. I always require things to be left-handed, so... If the tools aren't left-handed, I mean, even in a hard op, we have an option to basically have your modal handedness be left or, pro tip, use left, of course, because left is, I I'm not even going to get political jokes being passed on short about Zeus and no left and right jokes, but just like that, <laughs> just like that, I should tap in, I should uh, cut in just like that, um, get sued by HBO over the TV show. Just like that, season three coming back. Why do I know there's a season three? Um, we won't talk about that. And also, I forgot about the text looking. We're just having some fun. Not really trying to reference a TV show. But for this one, the text result actually looks better than I was expecting. I was ex expecting a few little straight edges just to, like what we're seeing in the E and in the A. But for the most part, having clean text just gives us a nice neutral starting point to start doing other stuff like dicing it and preparing to deform it. I mean, you really can't deform it in its original form. I mean, you sort of can when it's a curve, but, you know, the curve geometry just isn't that beautiful, to be honest. Um, in fact, the curve geometry actually looks like that. So when you're trying to deform it, you're actually deforming something like this. So whenever the text gets wayward, obviously we'll need some sort of better geometry solution for text whenever we do it. But that's
that's a talk for another time. So with that, I am Mr. Lee Swag, and I'll see you all next time.